Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will go through the some important Salesforce Platform Developer 1 PD1 exam question and answer. If you are getting ready for the exam, this will help you to understand the type of question you might see and how to answer them. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more helpful videos. Let's get started. First question is, when using Salesforce DF, what does a developer need to enable to create and manage scratch orgs? The option is, options are, so option A is production, option B is environment hub, option C is sandbox, and the option D is DevHub. The correct answer is, the correct answer is DevHub. DevHub. Let's go through the second question. Second question is, which three web technologies can be integrated into a Visual Force pages? Choose three options. The options are, A option is JavaScript, B is CSS, option C is Java, option D is PHP, option E is HTML. Options are, option A is the javascript is correct option the option b css is also correct option and the option c is the html is the correct option these three are the correct option for question number two let's move to the question number three number three a developer need to have records with a specific field values in order to test a new apex class or should the developer do to ensure the data is available to the test? The options are Option A. Use anonymous Apex to create required data. Option B. Use a SQL query the ARC for required data. Option C. Use test load data and reference a static resource. And the option number D. Use test load data and reference a CSV file. The correct option is option number C. Use test load data and reference a static resource. That is the correct option for C. Now question number 3. Question number 4. Which Salesforce org has a complete duplicate copy of production org including data and configuration the options are option number a developer pro sandbox option number b partial copy sandbox option number c production sandbox and option number d is the full sandbox the correct option is full sandbox is the correct option for question number four Let's move to the question number 5. Question number 5. Which annotation is exposed an Apex class as a RESTful web services? Options are at the rate array enabled, at the rate rest resource, option C at the rate remote action, option D at the rate HTTP invocable. The correct option is at the rate or enabled. This is the correct option for question number 5. Let's move to the question number 6. Question 6 is what are two cases for executing anonymous Apex code? We have to choose two options. The options are to delete 15,000 inactive accounts in a single transaction after a deployment to schedule an apex class to run periodically option number c to run a batch apex class to update all contacts option number d to add unit test code coverage to an org the correct options are option number b to schedule an apex class to run periodically and also the to option number c to run 
batch fx class to update all contacts these two options are the correct option for option number question number 6 question number 7 a developer want to retrieve the contact and users with the email address at the rate dev no, sorry address dev at the rate uc dot com which SQL query statement should the developer use the options are find dev at the rate uc dot com in email find returning contact email comma users email number b find email is equal to dev at the rate uc dot com in packet close in contact comma users number c find email is equal to uh, dev at the rate uc dot com returning contact email comma user email option number d find email in contact users for dev to uc dot com correct option is option number a option number a is find in packet dev at the rate uc dot com bracket close in email find fields uh, returning contact email comma users email that's the correct option for question number seven so question number eight statements are true regarding custom exception in apex choose three options for this question the options are option a custom exception can must extend the system exception class option number b custom exception can implement one or more interfaces option number c a custom exception cannot exception class cannot contain member variables or methods option number d a custom exception class name must end with exception option number e a custom exception class can extend other classes beside the exception class the correct options are Option number B. A custom exception class can implement can implement one or more interfaces. That is the correct option. And also the option number D and E. The option number D is the custom exception class name must end with exception. And the option number E. The correct a custom exception class can extend other classes beside the Beside the exception class. These three are the correct options for question number 8. Number 9. A developer must write an Apex method that will be called from a lightning component. The method may delete an account stored in the account record variable. Which method should a developer used to ensure only user that should be able to delete accounts can successfully perform deletions the options are option number a account record dot s object type dot is deletable method option number b schema dot s object type dot account dot is deletable method option number c account record account record dot is deletable method Acco option number d is the account is deletable the correct option is option d schema dot is object type dot account dot is deletable this is the correct option for question number nine question number ten a custom 
gym a custom um, trainer has a look of feel to another custom object which sql query will gets the record for the varadier city gym and its trainer options are select id select id from trainer from gym where name dot varadian city ne gym option b select id in bracket select id from trainer underscore underscore c from gym underscore underscore c where name varadian city gym option d select id from trainer underscore underscore c where gym gym r dot name gym r dot name veridian city gym option d select id in bracket select id from trainers from gym underscore underscore c where name veridian city gym the correct option is select id in bracket select id from trainers from gym underscore c where where name dot viridian city this is the correct option for question number 10 question number 10 is the correct option for a that's it for today's video i hope this questions and answer help you get a better idea for the pd1 exam if you find this useful please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share it to your friends who are also preparing good luck for your exam i will see in the next video thank you